Hello viewers, welcome to Nextilo. The wonder has a name. General anesthesia, regional anesthesia, sedation, local anesthesia. Well, you guessed it right. I'm talking about the different varieties of anesthesia. Anesthesia is a word derived from a Greek word an, which means without, aesthesis, which means sensation. Anesthesia is an important branch of medicine, especially the surgery, as it makes surgery feasible, flexible, and possible. Anesthesia is a controlled state of a temporary lack or loss of sensation or awareness on a patient during a medical surgery or a procedure. Let's hear more facts and figures about anesthesiology as a subject from our renowned faculty, Dr. Jyotika Kumar. Hi. Welcome to the show, Dr. Jyotika Kumar. Thank you for having me. Pleasure is also equally ours. How has your journey been so far with Nextilo? Uh, the journey has been great. Uh, I think Nextilo is doing great work Thank in um, providing all the material that is required by the undergraduate students to mm -hmm. prepare for their entrance examination. Yes. And um, uh, the students are going to get everything over here from notes to lectures to um, um, MCQs, image based questions, quizzes. Quizzes, exactly. And uh, we'll have test and discussions coming up. So I think it's going to be great. It's a one stop solution. Yeah. Yes, great. Well said. Now, we have certain common questions that we get to hear. And uh, let's, let's talk about that. Anesthesia as a subject is never a first choice among the medical students when they look into uh, choosing their speciality. May I know what is the reason for that? Yeah, uh, correct. Anesthesia is never the first choice. Mm -hmm. It's uh, basically because of the lack of knowledge that people have mm -hmm. about anesthesia. Not just uh, non-medicals, non-medicals are absolutely unaware, mostly, okay, right. uh, not offending anybody, mm -hmm. uh, but they are unaware about what an anesthesiologist does. Mm -hmm. uh, similarly, as a medical graduate, as an undergraduate, we are not much familiar with this subject. We do not have exposure. Uh, right. We don't go inside the uh, operation theatres that much, mm -hmm. uh, being an undergraduate, and uh, we do not get exposed to the subject. Right. So that's a big uh, drawback. Okay, yeah. so you mean to say there is lack of awareness about the speciality yes. and there is not much uh, information about what exact role an anesthesi anesthesiologist plays? Yes. Okay, uh, I, I agree with that. True. Yeah. Now, may I know what is the co-dependency as an anesthesiologist that you have on the other branches or maybe, for example, on a surgeon? Okay, um, anesthesia uh, cannot, you know, as a subject or as a profession, it cannot survive alone. Okay. Um, an anesthesiologist always needs uh, the backup of a surgeon to survive in this uh, tough competitive world. So it's not a standalone. It's uh, not a standalone surgery. branch. Whom will you give anesthesia to until unless a patient wants a surgeon? Absolutely. Rightly and, said. Yeah. And the surgery needs to be done by a surgeon. So you need to have good relationships with the surgeon on the OT table. So the coordination and the alignment matters yes. a lot. Okay. Totally. Right. Now, Coming to the surgery, uh, which is which is the core part of an anesthesiologist or the subject itself. What is the prior preparations that you do or prep up the a patient prior to the surgery? Or what is the objectives that you will have to follow before you get into a surgery with the patient? The anesthesia does not just restrict itself to putting, uh, putting the patient to sleep. To sleep, yeah. yeah. We just don't uh, restrict ourselves to that. Mm -hmm. To put a patient to sleep, we need to be aware about any medical conditions, prior mm -hmm. medical conditions that the patient might have, right. which can have an untoward uh, effect during anesthesia Absolutely. and the surgery. Surgery, itself. very, very true. Yes. So we need to be aware about uh, those things prior to we uh, prepping, up, prepping the up the patient for surgery, and we need to, uh, you know. Explain the consequences. Explain the consequences to the patient. Take a written informed consent about consent. anything and everything that can happen or go wrong during the surgery. 
and we need to make a plan of action. What kind of anesthesia and what kind of drugs we're planning to give the patient. Right, right. Why is that, uh, like you mentioned in one of the uh, points that you were explaining, why is that a patient always gets scared or uh, has only a very small knowledge that anesthesia is nothing but putting a patient to sleep and there are also situations where a patient gets the, uh, the fear in him or her that he or she may not come back to the senses. Is, is that something that commonly uh, you yes. see among the patients? Yes, uh, this is actually a fear of going under the knife. We all have that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, when you will be going in for a procedure yes. or even I mm -hmm. will be going in for a procedure knowing mm -hmm. everything about the surgery and the anesthesia and uh, getting in and out uh, patients of the surgery and anesthesia routinely, even I will be af afraid. Of course, yeah. So I think that comes as a part and parcel of being human. human are, yeah, 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 we yeah. are, we get afraid of things that we don't know. Uh, when things are actually not under our control, when we lose control, we become fearful. Great. Interesting to know actual facts about anesthesiology, actually, yes. Um, Last but not the least, um, what I would or what Nextilo would like to, uh, uh, you know, take more inputs from you is that uh, what is the key areas of development or the key suggestions that you would like to provide to the students or, uh, or those who are going to be facing the medical competitive exams while it comes to anesthesia? What is the kind of topics or, uh, you know, or, uh, suggestions that you provide for them to focus more towards? Uh, anesthesia as a subject, when you have to study, it's divided into regional mm -hmm. and general anesthesia. Right. Now, when you, whenever you're preparing anesthesia, uh, it's a short subject. So, uh, a not, not a lot of questions will be asked, mm -hmm. but whatever questions are asked, they are very scoring and they can, you know, increase your rank tremendously. Wow, okay. So, uh, whenever you're preparing, uh, a major chunk of it comes from, remember, re, uh, general Region. anesthesia and a little part comes from, 30 to 40% comes from regional. But regional is an extremely scoring uh, part of mm -hmm. anesthesia. Right. So if you prepare uh, these two parts very well mm -hmm. and uh, are thorough with them mm -hmm. and go through, of course, next to those notes and video lectures, I think you'll be all set uh, in anesthesia. Yeah. Uh, as she rightly said, of course, with Nextilo's one-stop solution where you have irrespective of what subject you're preparing for the competitive exam, whichever competitive exam it is, we will have everything covered under one roof, right from the videos, the quizzes, the question banks, the printed notes exactly. and uh, the, the, uh, you know, the overall information that is required but for any medical terminology or a subject under one roof. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Jyotika for sharing your thoughts. Thank you and, so much uh, for having me here. Mm -hmm. Equally pleasure is ours. So thanks a lot. I hope these tips and suggestions and information about anesthesiology has, has been a great uh, discussion today that we've had. So stay tuned for more such discussions. And of course, we are also eagerly waiting for Dr. Jyotika's lectures that's going to be on Nextilo's app very soon. Stay tuned. Good luck.